Hey guys, it's Needles, and I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos, for one. Two, um, different scenery today because I thought I would just spice it up a little bit, and you can see there is some color in my hair, and it shows up better here than it does in my office. So, little update, um, got my hair done, obviously, and now whenever I go to work, I actually have to wear a hat. So the story goes, protocol for hospital is we cannot have any unnatural or distracting hair. Mind you, um, there are other floors that have people with blue hair, green hair, streaks of different color, rainbow. So on my floor, I work on days, I came in, my hair was brighter than expected. I expected it to be a smidge less bright. Um, I think I had, I came in at seven. By nine o'clock, my manager pulled me aside. She's like, we, we can't have this. You have to eat. Like, I'm technically supposed to send you home. It's like, oh my gosh, are you, all right, whatever. Um, so we compromised on like wearing a surgical hat. So I got, I got one offline. They sent some up from OR and they were like see-through. There was no point in wearing it. It was kind of silly. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait until I get the one I ordered. Came in, I wore it for two shifts. And lots of pirate jokes, lots of um, people actually really liked my hat. Uh, it, was, it was just kind of cute because I was more, I feel like it was more attention grabbing than my actual hair because I'm the only person on the floor wearing a hat now. And I, I don't know if it's actually doing what it should. Like it's covering up the hair. And I guess that's the point of the hat. But if the whole thing is not to have any distracting or um, unnatural hair color, uh, well, like it, it's an outdated policy. In my opinion, it's an outdated po policy because my patients, when they saw it before I put the hat on, didn't care. They really liked it. When I put the hat on for, um, for my patients were like, why are you doing that? That's stupid. Um, this isn't even like the people who work there. Like everybody seems more upset about it than me. I'm just compromising. I'm like, okay, I have to wear a hat. No big deal. Everybody's like, well, no, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to cover your hair. And it is what it is. Um, I'm not upset by the compromise. To me, it kind of sets the standard of, hey, I can dye my hair whatever color I want. I just have to cover it with a hat. So I am excited about that idea. I've always been very nervous about dyeing my hair or doing anything with it. I've always been more of a natural brunette. And my mother always said, you know, don't do anything with your hair. So I never did. And now, um, like I dyed it when I did like more of the fox color. I liked that. And this, it went more, it was almost like a phoenix color. It was really, really bright the first time. Um, and I like it and I just, I, I like the color and it's really just, it's really fun and poppy and it made me feel good. So I will probably be dyeing it more fun colors, which is awesome. My original goal was to have it pink, but they told me it would fade really, really quick. So that's why we went with more of the orange. Um, it's still fading. Like this is somehow surprisingly more faded uh, than what I originally was, but it's still like a nice little fire color. Um, I'm calling it Calcifer color because of Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. It just, the first time it was like bright and now it's just bright. So it's a, not as extreme. So yeah, that's been going on. As far as September, which was a complete flop on my account, sorry guys. Um, I did the projects, like I have the footage and everything, and it's like I, I find I will accumulate footage and then getting to the video editing. At the old house, I had no issue doing that. Like I could edit stuff and I was like comfortable there. But being here, I don't know where it is. I just don't feel like editing videos. Um, and it doesn't help either. Like on my days off, it's, it feels like such a time crunch. And if David's home, I don't want to do anything because I just want to hang out with him because I don't see him very often. Um, but I'm seeing him more often and I'm kind of going in that transition stage too because He's home. I can see him. I want to see him. I was deprived for so long So that's what's that's that there um, What else baby's doing good I had an ultrasound yesterday and Placenta's in a good place baby's head is face down uh, We got about 11 more weeks to go is what they're expecting um I asked doctor, he said there's no indicators for in, uh, inducing me or anything. There, he's expecting the baby to be a little bit bigger than my first one, which was 5'3". So we're, we're going to see where this goes. Um, 
that's that's basically where we're at with that. Baby's been doing fine, kicking a lot. Uh, so job's good, except for we're having to wear a hat, which no big deal. It's been more stressful to at work. I should have mentioned that. So not okay. The downfall of the hat. Going back to that one. The downfall of the hat is I get warm. I get really, really hot. I thankfully have a hat that has like a little sweat band in the top, so it catches everything, but I get really hot. And the other day I worked, I had three patients in contact precautions. Contact precautions mean you put on this plastic gown that makes you feel like a sauna, you've got your gloves on, um, you sometimes have to wear a mask, so you have all this body heat trapped on your body. And you're not just in there for like a minute or two because no, you're not going to suit up and just be in there for a minute. No, you're going to be in there for a good half hour and you're going to get your stuff done because you don't have to suit up again. So I had two patients initially that I spent a half hour in each. So I spent an hour sweating my butt off with this hat on, with all this gear on. Um, and then I got a third patient and I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I I, I, did, I, I just can't, I can't do. So I even said something to my charge nurse. I'm like, I have five patients now. Three are contact precautions. Dude, really? Really? And she just kind of chuckled. And you know, it can't be helped. Sometimes that's how the it, it works. But it's like, oh, please, goodness, come on, guys. Come on, I can't do this. It's too warm. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, work, that's, that's the story of work. Um, I don't know when I will be able to take my head off, I guess when it's a natural color. It might not be that for a while, and if this fades enough, it might look like a natural color, so. I think it's at manager's discretion, which makes it a little more difficult, um, because if manager's not there, I might not wear my hat, you know, it, it just depends. I don't know, I wanna do the right thing, I wanna do right by the hospital, because I don't wanna get fired or a road op or anything stupid like that, but it's just gonna kinda depend. Um, so that's work. Life at home has been great. Um, we still have this ginormous beehive like outside this window, I'm on the second floor. And there's like this big beehive we need to get take care of. Um, we, uh, we really haven't been doing too much outside. You know, after summer, uh, we closed up the pool. We've just been kind of like maintaining pick up sticks. Um, so as far as housewives, things have been kind of stoic. No, nothing really big going on. We're pretty much moved in. That's all taken care of. And then with baby, I just told you about, you know, everything's pretty much going along smoothly. It's still working on the nursery a little bit here and there, but it's coming together nicely. We just need a few more things. So that's, that's the update. Um, I do hope to, I guess I just need to edit. I should stop just recording shit and just, edit my stuff because I'm not doing that and that's what I need to do so that I can bring videos because I've got a few of them but that will probably be a project for another day because I don't think it's happening today anyways um thank you so much for watching if you have something nice or negative to say go ahead and leave it in the comments below um if you like what you see then come ahead go ahead and come back every now and again I do try to post vis videos every now and again um, until then, uh, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will talk to you guys again later. Bye-bye.